know welcome to my channel today as you, you can see we have something different sitting in front of you this is actually an old Hobonichi cover a Hobonichi custom but it's not a Hobonichi custom that's in here um, I share kind of share this in another video if you watched that but if you did not I wanted to share it here this is something that I'm testing for 2024 because I am just not happy with the planner I'm currently using. So what I'm currently using, I'm talking about the planner I'm currently using as my like personal, everyday, catch-all, has all the things in it. Right now I'm using Erin Condon Daily Duo. And it's working great. I just, I, I'm missing a part of it and I'll tell you what that part is. So I have my um, YouTube schedule here. I have the uh, monthly here. I have like, you know, your had to figure out something to use for this page but I do like it um, here um, and then I have all my dailies and then my memories and then the highlight of the day so I can do like my monthly stuff and then it has my schedule and like a to-do list so it's perfect and then I have an overview for the next week I have some habits I can track my to-do my dinners it's great <clears throat> but the thing that I am missing with this is I am missing uh, somewhere where I can journal about the day um, my daughter is getting older she's getting to where she is doing more stuff and I just wish I had that that I'm missing that piece where I can journal about our day and what she did that was so cute that day and um, things that I just love that she's doing and, you know things like that just journal about my feelings my thoughts um, what I'm going through how how I'm dealing with some of uh, some things and that is where this comes in. So, <clears throat> this is a Hobonichi cover. Um, I think this is a Hobonichi one as well. Or actually, no, this is something I got off of Amazon. But it um, does it fits it really snug. I just don't think it'll grow with it, which is the issue I think I'm going to have. This, <coughs> and I'll take it out. Let me just take this bad boy out. This is a sterling ink. 535 or something like that notebook yes a notebook and I'm gonna explain <laughs> I'm gonna explain all this so hang on I'm just gonna slip this back in here I made a mistake when I ordered from Taipei for Alexa and I actually did like I don't know what I was thinking but I wrote monthly twice so I got two little monthly tabs which I did not mean to do I think I meant to do like a daily or something or a weekly I don't know I don't know what I was thinking, so I just kind of stuck it in the backpack here. Um, oh, this was from Type A for Alexa, Type A for Alexa, Creati Creativity and Ink. I'll go over everything. Um, I don't have anything in the back. That's one of the things that I love about this is I have the back. I just have these tucked back here because I don't like them. Um, so over here, I do have a couple things. These are from Type A for Alexa. It was my like freebie that I got. These are from Ollie Clip. This is from Creativity Inc. And I usually have my Itty Bitty Sticker Co. one sitting right here. But I was actually using it so it's in my little different spot, a planning section. Um, this is from, oh my gosh, why can I not think of her? Oh my gosh. This I know is from, um, oh gosh, no I don't. Hello Petite Paper. Yes, there we go. Um, I just stuck it here because it was cute. This was cute too. I don't know where that came from. Um, and then this is from the same shop of this shine sticker studio and then I just have um, some kits in here um, I've already set up like the, I have my tabs in here I have uh, backup tabs um, <clears throat> monthly kit that I'm using for September and then I have over here lots of functional stickers that I'm using I have my um, McPlan stuff some sugar pop fizz date dots some shine sticker studio date dots sweet quiet design school stuff all my Mandy Lynn plan stuff um, some more date dots from shine sticker studio so I have all those in here and then this <coughs> this has been a labor of love I've been working on this for about a month ish um, so I have post-it stuck to this because I actually do use them. Um, I have an Itty Bitty Sticker Co. postcard here because I just love it. I think it's so cute. Um, Creativity and Ink, Shine Sticker Studio, Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then I have a Type A for Alexa um, sleeve thing. I don't know what she calls them, but it's the, the door from, you know, Monsters Inc. And in here I just have some different freebies that I would like to use. Um, so let me just... 
and I just love this. I love this idea. I thought it was so cute. Um, I shopped with her during like the Ultimate Planner sale, I believe, and yeah, so I have a couple different freebies in here, and then I have my tiny mini date dots from Shine Seeker Studio, and then just, you know, different freebies that I thought I could pull in and use in this planner, so that's what they're in here for. I got more, like, date dots from uh, Mick Plans that I got as a freebie, so lots of different stuff that I thought I could pull in and use in this planner. Thought would be good. Okay, and they all sit behind the door, so you don't even know. This is from, I totally messed this whole thing up, but it's here and it's going to work. <laughs> it, it is from Shine Sticker Studio. I did it to where I got my name on, like done on it, so I didn't have to do any of that. But it's just this big sticker that you stick down. And I got it for, everything I got is like the Hobonichi Cousin size because this is an A5 notebook. These are my cheats for anything and everything. I haven't finished writing out the calendars because I didn't know if I was going to like this, but I ended up liking it. So I thought if I didn't like it, I would just those together, but I do like it. It's going to help. So these are from, oh, it's a printable shop. Stickers and doodles. I think she's also where my monthlies are from. No. So stickers and doodles. And then I have, this is from, these stickers are from Stickers and Doodles too. This is where I'm tracking my kids because I like that. I have that in here. So I have my school calendar and then I have where I'm tracking my kids here. Perfect, wonderful. Have it here as well. This is where the different stuff happens. I've already changed it for September and you'll see that in a second. I have YouTube video trackers here so I can track when I film, edit, upload, and do the description. I have a piece of vellum that I made myself here. It's not the best because it's not cut right, but that's okay. And then I have a cute little die cut st or a sticker from Shine Sticker Studio right there to emphasize my August dashboard page. So I have goals where I can track my followers and subscribers and stuff. And then I have my stickers to buy for the month. Then I have my monthly here. And this is designed to like go over the page. I just don't like that because if I want to write on the page, I constantly am gonna have to take it on and off. So I just put my monthly stickers in here for the month. And I like it that way. So these are from Plan Ahead Printables. I use them for uh, August, September. I printed, I went ahead and printed October and November's. Um, I might find someone else for December, but right now I have him, them. And this is how it looks and I just love it. Oh, uh, these date dots are from Make Plans. So is the scripts right there that you see. So, and then these scripts are from... Mm. Manual and plans. But I love it. I have my monthly and then it flows nice because after my monthly, I have my monthly for my YouTube tracker. And then, so I have my YouTube little thing here. These are again from, um, oh my gosh, type A for Alexa. This is what I changed next month. So instead of it being a, be a, being a brain dump there, this will be here. So it'll have like both my YouTube stuff here. Um, I didn't think about that until I started getting into it. And then this, it's not really a braid up. It'll be a notes page is going to be moved to here. So, okay. Then I have my dailies. So, um, I have my overview for the week. And then I have each day where I have a spot for my day, my to, to do's. And then I can journal right here. And I have that for every single day. And I, d I, laid this out similar to the Hobonichi because I really liked that. I just don't like the flow of the Hobonichi cousin. You'll see why. Um, I like to have my monthly, all my dailies and my weeklies together. So I have my full week every single day that I've done myself. And then here, dashboard from uh, Shine Sticker Studio, I have one of those little slip-ins from um, Type A for Alexa. I have the kit for the month and then the dots that I'm using for the dailies right there. So they are from Shine Sticker Studio. <clears throat> all right here. All laid out. So this is where I want to do my memory planning. So I was, as you remember, I have a section to write my memories for the day here. I am actually just going to make it a whole weekly spread. That way I don't have to flip through every single day. I can just look at this one weekly spread, write them down, transfer them to my memory keeper. Um, and then this is where I'll keep like any things that are pre-planned, any appointments I have, anything that I think is going to happen that day or, you know, whatever. 
So, I already set up a couple weeks in here. I got this week all set up, and then I started on this week. So I have all these down. I just, I'm, I'm loving it. I did change it to where it said like the day of the week, because I know what month I'm in. I'm in August the 12th. August the 13th. I just wanted to know the day. And then um, this is from um, Shine Sticker Studio. And then you can see like my skeleton spread. So these are my skeleton spreads. I haven't laid anything down. They are just what they are, the skeleton spreads. And then for September, so at the end of the month, I changed this to a notes page. So notes for the beginning. I have my vellum that I made myself. I have the same layout here, same thing here. This is where it changes. So I have my YouTube schedule with my YouTube trackers. I like that so much better. And then everything else is the same. Okay, so that's all the same. And then at the back, I have notes. So <clears throat> the notes sections I have are books needed. So books needed for my classroom. And then I have this, which I really like. Um, I've been planning like colors and stuff that I'm using for all of my weeks and stuff. So August, the month of August, I'm doing like a rainbow theme. And then for this first week, these are the colors, the numbers, and what if what uh, marker it is if it's not like in Tombow. I know Tombows have numbers. And then the washi that I'm using. So I'm doing that for all of the weeks. I just really like how that looks. I really think this is going to be very clean. I have four pages dedicated to that, but if I need more, I mean, I can put more somewhere else. Um, <clears throat> YouTube ideas and then a future log. And then I just have the back of the book, which we've already talked about. So that is, that is, that is it. Um, I really think this is going to flow a lot nicer. I have my monthly here and then it, it has my YouTube monthly and then it literally goes into my dailies and then my weekly. And I, I just like the flow of, oh, I didn't put my daily thing back in. I just like the flow of this a whole lot more. Um, and I think it's, I think it's just really going to work. I think this is what I needed and hopefully it works and hopefully it's just amazing and it's everything that I wanted. Um, we will see, but Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's a bonus video, but I really wanted to show y'all what I was thinking and what I was doing, so, and I got it all finished, so. Um, I will catch you in my next video whenever that is, so, bye y'all.